is Masonic. Hola, it's Masonic. This is Jen from SSL here at NAM 2020, 2025, and I'm very happy to show you two new products that we've that we've, that we've launched the SSL 18 here um, at NAM. And this is a 26 in, 28 out audio interface. Um, it's in a 19 inch rack mount format and offers a studio ready solution for uh, the more professional engineers and um, producers. It it's, uh, has impressive audio performance with 32 bit converters, 120 dB of dynamic range across all like and mine inputs, and 125 dB of dynamic range uh, out of the monitor and the line out. It has eight mic, um, mic line inputs um, on the back um, and one and two are on the front. They also serve as instrument inputs. Each input has a gain control, phantom power, high pass filter and our classic 4K emula emulation. We have a metering section here which shows us uh, the current selection of each channel, uh, the monitoring section and a dedicated talkback as well as two independent headphone outputs which have different impedance options. This is a great, uh, all of the line inputs bypass the microphone preamps um, and it's been properly uh, designed to work with outboard gear thanks to the plus 24 dBU capable inputs and outputs. Uh, we've got the SSL 360 software which allows us to uh, create all the routing options and uh, the mixing options. Um, the, one of the nice things that we've got on the talkback feature here is a listen mic compressor. So on the rear of the unit, it has a dedicated talkback input. And this is similar to how Phil Collins created the famous drum roll. So you could use the SSL-18 talkback input in a creative way by putting stems back through it. Then on below, I'd like to talk to you about the Alpha 8. Um, this is an interface expander, essentially converter. And this is a way to increase your I.O. count, but without losing quality. So this also has 32-bit converters and, and the 120 dB on the line and outputs. And what's nice about this is it also has the 24 dBU capable inputs and outputs. Um, and actually we can pick to have 20 dBU, 18 and nine. So we can best match that to whatever outboard gear that we're using. Um, but also with the 24 dBU, it means that we can really drive hot signal into our, an outboard equipment. It has also on the front, this is essentially a way to audition and confidence check what, what in and our inputs and outputs on analog or digital um, inputs. So we could even do the, uh, by holding down and listen to what, listen to a range of the inputs and outputs. This is all of the metering section. It has a world clock source. Um, also, the, both of them being um, ADAC capable, so with 16 um, channels at 92K, uh, 96K, sorry, um, and then 16 at 192. So uh, they both have SPDIF inputs and outputs, and the Alpha 8 offers us flexible conversion options. So with eight channels of analog to digital, but we can also uh, flexibly change the uh, SPDIF to analog too. Um, so really a way to really expand your current IO count, but can also be used as a standalone unit um, as it has a USB output uh, on the back. So two really great additions to offer a real level of quality uh, at great price points.